on to the next track in Avaz Alcove of Musical Threads, man. And this has been a phenomenal series. It's a Ghazra series. And so far, it has been absolutely epic. There hasn't been a single song that I haven't liked. They've all been absolutely insane. And now, we're going on to a phenomenal Fadishta and phenomenal uh, uh, Fado singer, right? Just Portuguese uh, uh, traditional music, right? And this is called Shuva. Shuva means rain in Portuguese. And her name is Marisa. Concert in Lisboa, so it's a concert in Lisbon. So, um, yeah, let's rock and roll. Marisa, 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 Shuva, right? Which means rain. Let's uh, rock and roll. Let's see what we've got over here. Let's go. <laughs> got lyrics over here as well although i do understand them but i like to read them out for you as coisas vulgares que há na vida não deixam saudade só as lembranças que dói Listen to the power of that voice, and she's just doing it naturally, like it's nothing. A gente que fica na história da história da gente e outras de quem nem o nome lembramos o. Que tive contigo e acabei o perder. It's absolutely ridiculous. Listen to the power of her voice and look how she just so easily, just almost like she's just talking to the mic normally. She's not even straining that voice. It's just like she's got a one in a million voice. And specifically with these five singers, right? It's a very, very specific. You've got to have a very powerful voice. It's got to come here from the fucking gut. Do you know what I mean? But over here, let's just read some uh, uh, lyrics quickly for those of you who don't understand Portuguese. Such so that uh, you, you understand what the song's about. Okay, The vulgar things in life don't be missed. Only the memories that hurt. Or make you smile. There are people who remain in history of our history and others whose name is not even we remember hearing. Those are emotions that give life. So it's basically, she's actually tying in our emotions to our past, tying it to our heritage, to the people that came before us, right? Which is beautiful. Um, these are emotions that give life to the longing and our, that longing. I bring. I think it's actually talking about God over here or nature as a whole. The one I had with you and I ended up losing. Maybe it's about a partner. There are days that uh, mark the soul and people's lives, which is correct. And uh, the one where you left me, I cannot forget. So obviously it's a song of love. So it's uh, and actually plays into the shuva, which is the rain. So it was one of those rainy, dark, gray days uh, with the day that she lost uh, uh, the person she loved. There are days that mark the soul and people's lives and the one where you left me i cannot forget the rain wet my face cold and tired and that actually became one of those core memories when she died the specific weather of the day right it was gray and the rain so that became a core memory because it was attached to something tragic and traumatizing the streets that um that the city had i had already traveled oh my cry of a lost girl i don't know if this is actually for I don't know if this is actually for losing a a child or it's about the protagonist is actually a male losing the woman he loves. I'm not sure. Shout out to the city. May the fire of love under rain. Uh, he had died moments ago. The rain heard and fell silent. My secret to the city. And behold, she knocks on the glass bringing the longing. So I kind of think it's like a, a father that lost. So for me, it's like a, a father that lost the daughter. And then he just struggled throughout his entire life and then eventually passed away and then met her again. That was the end. The rain heard and fell silent, right? Um, because it was almost felt like it was always dark and raining, right? Um, my secret to the city and behold, she knocks on the glass 
on the glass again. So it's like after he died, he went and met her again in heaven. I'm not entirely sure. I could be um, misinterpreting those lyrics. You guys can let me know down below if you know what they are. Uh, what the actual meaning of the song is, it's obviously a first time reaction, but beautiful, beautiful either way. Let's uh, rock and roll, let's carry on. <laughs> It's just beautiful storytelling, but that is what Fado is, right? Fado is just storytelling, right? It's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful traditional music with beautiful lyrics all of the time. Do you know what I mean? It's not this sort of one-dimensional type of thing. It's beautiful. It involves skill in every which way. It involves skill in writing it. It involves skill in singing it. It involves skill in actually playing the guitar for it. Because the traditional version of Vado is literally just a guy on a guitar and then a female vocalist. That's the traditional version of Vado. Now with the, with the orchestra or whatever else, they're actually adapted it somewhat, which is beautiful. Right, and they've tried to sort of modernize Fado a little bit more. Um, but the traditional one was literally that it was just literally the woman, it was such a modest form of music. It was just the woman with a beautiful voice, and the um, the guitarist, which is usually a family member, either the husband or whatever else, who would literally just play the guitar and she would tell a story over that, uh, over those strings. Beautiful stuff, beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> Literally, I could listen to this too. I don't know. There's going to be people on, over here that's like, nah, this is not for me. But I could literally listen to this all day. We could make this a 60 reaction series. It's not. It's not. For those of you who are like, oh my God, it's not. It's not. Relax. <laughs> Absolute control. 
ease with which she sings that and the control that she has and that angelic sort of just such a soft yet powerful nature is just ridiculous 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 love that you guys let me know what you think down below and i'll catch you on the very next one peace